So just like Le Mans, the Dakar Rally, or any cross-country rally for that matter, has different classes. So, for example, the Mini is actually part of the prototype class, much like the R18 for Audi. Yes, the Dakar Rally and the cross-country rallies have many more classes than Le Mans, um, but the, it kind of acts the same way. So you've got the Minis, you've got the prototypes, and then you have things like this. This is a race truck. This is kind of like the, the lower class, but it is still a competitor in things like the Dakar Rally. So let's take a look. Now, why have these race trucks? Now, I didn't really understand this until uh, this trip. It is a competitor in the event. Only competitors can help each other while they're on stages. So um, you can't have mechanics just out there ready to fix things. As soon as a mechanic who is not a competitor touches a car and starts fixing something, that car is then out of the rally. So part of the race truck class, the category is that, yes, this is a competitor. There are two mechanics and one uh, truck racer inside the truck. They are competing. If by chance they come across one of their minis, that is broken down on the side of the road, they can stop competing and then they can fix the truck. If at no point in the rally the Mini ever has any problems, they're still a competitor and they can win. So it's pretty interesting. So what's in this race truck? Actually, it has a lot in it. It is, well, starting from the specifications, it has a full race suspension. It can go over dunes. It's four by four, unlike the big service trucks, which is where we're gonna go next. Four by four, inside you've got tires, you've got transmissions, you've got differentials, you've got any part that you'll need to fix that car. They don't have, you know, if, if they don't have welders, if, you, if you're welding something, then you're pretty much, it's game over, but it still has parts. So, race truck. Now let's go to the big boys. These are the service trucks. These are not competitors. So the difference between the service truck and the race truck is this can only service the cars while in a staging area. It does not go on the race course. As soon as it goes on the race course and it starts helping um, or supporting another vehicle, that vehicle is then out of the rally. Um, so what's in here? Well, it's a lot like the race truck, but it has a lot more. So for example, 48 wheels and tires. So it's a very interesting color coordination system back there. So blue is um, anything that has to deal with suspension or brakes. Uh, black has to do with fluids, um, transmission fluid, oil, whatever it may be, and yellow is miscellaneous parts. Those are the lightest, lighter items on the back half of the truck. So actually, when you come up inside, Will, please watch your step coming in here. This is very, very interesting. So everything has its place. Tools, parts, hardware, um, <laughs> every nut and bolt that you can conce conceive of we need um, is here, including lug nuts. Um, as well as it's got a generator, it's got a welding kit, it's got hoses, rivets. Um, you can uh, fix the dampers. This is a damper compression system. It's got a jack and everything. These trucks are filled with parts before they ever go on a, on a rally. At the workshop here in Germany, they're filled with parts. They get special customs declarations so that when they get to a new country after getting off the boat, um, they're not spending three weeks in customs looking through each panel. They get, they get uh, some privileges as being a support race truck. Um, now, you got to keep in mind on things like the car, you're on the road for two weeks. The mechanics are living out of this truck. And when I mean they're living out of this truck, I truly mean they are living out of this truck. So let's come over here. There are three people associated with this truck, three mechanics. These are where their personal items stay. Here, here, and here. Their bags, their clothing, everything for two weeks in here. You're going to ask, where do they sleep? <laughs> there are tents that they pitch on top of the truck at night. That's where they sleep for two weeks. Pretty amazing. You know, when you finish one Dakar, everybody is happy. The winners is happy, the, the guy to finish is happy, the last one is really happy, you know. <laughs> Each one have a target before the start, you know. Me and Stefano, these teams, you start from win, uh, and when you don't want, you, you don't feel really, really happy, but you do it, you finish, and uh, also in one side. But the last one, when I start from, from only fight from finish, and when fin finish the Dakar, it's amazing. But the first time, I don't know maybe it's the best or not, but when the first time I stay in, the, in Dakar, my first feeling when I arrive in, in Morocco, uh, you know, you need to stay in Africa. You know, from the typical smell, this is, and this is one of the best moments, I think.